I'm starting my morning making a very special lei. And once again, nature is providing me with all the materials needed for this gift. Making give a lei in Hawaii is the very essence of giving from the heart. <laughs> Buddy might not understand this yet. And he probably doesn't know that tomorrow is his very first birthday but that's not gonna stop us from giving our all to celebrate him. Hello. So this episode is a very special one because tomorrow is Buddy's first birthday. And so I need to make him a birthday dessert. I always thought it was so disgusting when I would see babies just like eating whole cakes and I would be like, why would people do that to their beautiful food? And now I realize it's a thing, it's called smash cake, and I guess it's what you're supposed to do. So we're gonna let Buddy do that. But it'll be a pie, so smash pie. Um, and we're going to do a chocolate halpia pie, but a different one. We're gonna make this one out of avocados and all kinds of things. So it'll be different, it'll be a coconut, avocado, chocolate halpia pie, trying to make it somewhat healthy-ish. I'm gonna do a graham cracker crust. Gosh, a rolling pin would probably be a good idea, huh? I'm just gonna use this bowl. Good idea? Yeah. And so this seems like something that if you have kids older than Buddy, they could help you with. So this is about two cups. This is a stick of melted butter. I'm just gonna see if we can do this all in this bag. <clears throat> then we're gonna do some sugar. I'm trying not to go too overboard in the sugar department for Buddy's birthday pie. Mash this all together. So I'm squeezing this and it's still kind of just coming apart a little bit and I know I want my crust to really hold together. So maybe I needed more butter, which I don't have. I'm just gonna try to add some coconut oil. Maybe that'll work. Maybe you could have used all coconut oil if you wanted to. So I'm just gonna add some coconut oil. Okay, that looks pretty, pretty good. So now, what I'm thinking is I'm going to do two pies. <laughs> one that Buddy can do the smash, smash cake thing to, and one that he doesn't get to, you know, destroy. Just gonna put some crust into there, some crust into here, and hope it's enough. And we're really gonna press. Okay, yeah, I can feel it really binding together as I press it. I think the harder you press it, maybe the better. We have a crazy birth story. And, um, and so to think that one year ago today, I had a funny feeling, didn't quite feel right, decided to go to the doctor and get my blood pressure checked. And it was skyrocketing. And it turned out I was diagnosed with this thing called preeclampsia, which is very, very serious. And we ended up in going into the hospital today and we didn't leave until five days later after making some major decisions after buddy's heart rate starting to slip away from us and all kinds of scary things and so honestly that's where my mind's at to be here one year later and to have a healthy wonderful baby who's taking a nap right now who i'm making a birthday cake for feels pretty darn special Okay, these look ready. I'm gonna pop them in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes, and we're gonna start making the filling. Okay, so we're gonna make the haupia, and haupia is a classic Hawaiian dessert. It's like a coconut gelatin. I've made it before in my sweet potato haupia pie recipe. And so this is just another classic. It is um, halpia chocolate pie, chocolate halpia pie. But we're just doing this one a little different. Okay, so we're gonna do two cans 
of full fat coconut milk. Yeah. If you have access to mature coconut, you can make your own. And we also have an episode showing that. Now I am gonna add sugar. Not too much, but we do wanna sweeten that up. Maybe a fourth cup, I would estimate. I'm gonna let that, let that get hot. While that's heating up, I'm gonna make my cornstarch slurry because that's what's gonna thicken it. So, let's see, I'm gonna go like half a cup. It's about half a cup. Does slurry re require coconut starch? Cornstarch? Yeah. Um, no, you can make a flour slurry, cornstarch slurry, but I guess it's just when you put a powder a powder form of something into a liquid form. And as you can see, I, I'm using my hands. You can use a spoon, but I feel for making a slurry, a cornstarch slurry, your hands are the best tools because there's always gonna be little lumps of cornstarch that try and sneak away from you and your spoon's not gonna be able to feel them. We don't want any lumps. We don't want lumpy halpia. Okay, so this is actually about one cup of macadamia nut milk, you can use whole milk, you can use water, and um, a little over a half cup of cornstarch. Our sugar has dissolved into our coconut milk, and you can see that it is bubbling and boiling. So I think we're ready to pour in our slurry, and we're gonna switch from a wooden spoon to a whisk. So as we put this in, we're gonna go gradually, and you should feel it thicken pretty immediately. Wow, that really did thicken. But you want to keep, ooh, maybe I went a little thick. But you know what? I feel like thick is better than thin because the main thing is I want this to set. This is looking good. This is looking thick. This is looking hot. Those are all good things. High crust. High crust time, thank you, honey. They look good. They look good. They look like a big cookie. Okay, so now we're gonna take our halpia, Woo. and we're gonna pour some of it into a bowl. I don't know, it might be a little over half. I tried to go half. And in one of these, yeah, we'll go this one, we're going to add some dark chocolate. So this is just dark chocolate chips. I don't know how, I just went for a couple handfuls there, and we'll see how that looks when we stir it. So look at this, now this one is a beautiful coconut chocolate concoction. And I love coconut and chocolate together. I think that's excellent. Ooh, this one actually has more. So we're gonna make a chocolatey, coconutty pie. I'm just whisking it to make those chocolate chips melt. Cool, that looks beautiful. Mmm. Coconut and dark chocolate. Okay, I'm gonna do chocolate first. Ooh, I like the look of that. I really do. Ooh, yes. I like how it's acting. Very nice. Now we'll go for the halpia layer. This might be the episode that is the fail. We will see. It's gonna be great. Have some confidence in yourself, Kimmy. After these cool down, I'm gonna pop them in the fridge, keep them overnight. I'm gonna do an avocado mousse, and then tomorrow I'm gonna frost it with that. And we'll be like, happy birthday, buddy, have some avocado. Please be nice and green inside. Let's see. Good enough. So we're gonna do big avocado. I'm gonna add a little macadamia nut milk just to help it blend. I'm going to add this beautiful organic cocoa powder. Cacao. Cacao powder. And to sweeten it, 
we're gonna add some delicious organic maple syrup from Justin's hometown of Minnesota. Cool. Ooh, that's looking nice and and silky, and I like the thickness. I like that. I like that jiggle. Tastes great. I've I've never made a kid. My kid, I've never had a kid to make a birthday cake to before. This little is very domestic and I love it. When I think about this year, I think about, I do think, I think about that cute little crazy baby that would just keep us up all night and make us like zombies. But then I just think about how he grew and how we just started bringing him on the ocean. I think about going to Alaska. <music> somewhere where he won't, you know, roll down a hill. Oh, simple, raw, oh, baby fell down. Go, let go, let go. He oh, ate right. dirt. Mother of the Year Award. We wouldn't trade it for the world because I feel like he just, Buddy made us a family. Happy birthday, Mom. Yeah, he loves you. And now, buddy, your birthday is over, and it is mama's turn to enjoy the cake without you sticking your finger. Okay. I'm gonna have the first bite. Okay, I get the second bite. Mmm. 
It's delicious. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining us for Buddy's first birthday. That was very special. And please do come back next week because we're going to do something very special. We're going to cold smoke a fish. Like it? Cool. I'm glad you like avocado. All right. Okay. <laughs>